fair or planned use or anything that we're using this tonight. Really shouldn't be too bad. Great point. I'll call this meeting to order on Monday, December 2nd, 2019. I want to welcome everyone. I'm very glad to have with us tonight Reverend Claiborne Jones from St. Benedict Episcopal Church at 2160 Cooper Lake Road, who will come forward at this time, give our invocation, and also lead us in the place of flag. So everyone, please rise. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Let us pray. <clears throat> Holy One, we ask your blessing on those gathered here to offer leadership to all who live and work in Smyrna. May each of them be eager to listen, willing to understand, and glad to respect one another. With mutual support, help them to serve all people in our city, caring alike for young and old, strong and weak, rich and poor, friend and stranger. Inspire them with your wisdom, and by your grace, may all their works reflect your righteous and empowering love. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And for those folks that uh, maybe are not familiar with St. Benedict's, they're on Cooper Lake Road, and I'm sure they'd love to have you visit or join their uh, congregations. Thank you very Absolutely. much. We're open all the time to anybody. Yes, thank you. Item two is agenda changes, and we do not have any. Item three, under the mayor's report, 2019-432 is a proclamation in recognition and honor of Reverend John Calvin Hurst, who Council Member Marilyn Blackburn has that one, and she will, she will read that. Miss Blackburn. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, it is on. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, we lost a very dear citizen. Uh, about two weeks ago, um, Reverend Hurst, John C. Hurst. And uh, he was very instrumental in a lot of lives in the Rose Garden area. And so tonight, I would like to honor uh, his legacy and by reading a proclamation and sharing this with his family who's here with us tonight. A proclamation by the mayor of the city of Smyrna in recognition and honor of Reverend John Calvin Hurst. Whereas Reverend John Calvin Hurst was born May 30th, 1930, in Cross Hill, South Carolina, received his early education at Brewer High School in Greenwood, South Carolina, and married Mary, Ale Mary Alice on November 27, 1951. 
Reverend Hurst and Mary Alice celebrated 60 years of marriage and have two children, Mary Cora and Johnny Murray. And whereas Reverend John Calvin Hurst made Smyrna, Georgia his home in September of 1969, he became a member of the historic Mount Zion First Baptist Church where he was ordained as a minister and in 1983 became the pastor of Mount Zion First Baptist Church, the oldest African-American church in Smyrna, Georgia, celebrating 145 years. And whereas Reverend John Calvin Hurst attended theological seminary school where he received his associate degree in Old Testament scripture during his pastoral journey, he enriched the minds of many in the Smyrna community, ordained various pastors, evangelists, and deacons across the East Coast, and he faithfully served the Lord and ministered for 30 plus years to the people of Mount Zion First Baptist. And whereas Reverend John Calvin Hurst's greatest passion, aside from his family, preaching the gospel and bring, being a gracious community servant was his love for deep sea fishing, he would often quote, when I retire, all I want to do is fish and preach. And whereas Reverend John Calvin Hurst worked tirelessly and sought God's guidance in all that he did, he served as a spiritual leader in the church and in the community, engaging with businesses, government, and community leaders as a member of the Cobb County Ministerial Alliance, Kennesaw Baptist Association, Kennesaw Baptist Training Union, Cobb NAACP, Smyrna United Task Force, as well as hands, feet, and mouth community organization to work for the greater good of everyone to be successful. Now, therefore, I, A. Max Bacon, Mayor of the City of Smyrna, do hereby proclaim December 2nd, 2019, a day of recognition and honor for Reverend John Calvin Hurst for his accomplishments and service in the community and ministry at Mount Zion First Baptist Church, Smyrna, Georgia. Ms. Hurst, would you please come forward? Bacon? Yes, ma'am. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I see y'all have got a bunch of family out there. That does with... a portion of it. Y'all want all the family members and folks that are here to uh, for the recognition of John Hurst, uh, please stand. And um, I think it'd be appropriate if we got a picture of all y'all some way. Um, y'all come on up. It's, nothing's going to happen, I don't think. Uh, John had been a uh, member of our community for a number of years, as Marilyn mentioned, and uh, he was a good man. He was always good to come and give the invocation here. Uh, he was never shy about asking for help from the city, and we were always trying to help him do it. Um, and I see that's his son behind me. It's a spitting image <laughs> of John. So uh, thank you for, for everything that John did for our community. and. Um, he will be remembered from forever. So thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Scott, can you get a picture of all of them? We're sorry about it being so cold outside. <laughs> we asked for a little warmer weather, but. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that that's uh that's a good looking group from this side. I mean, not the back side, <laughs> but the, from, from our screen here. Any, anybody want to say, Ms. Hershey, you want to say anything else or any member of your family? Yeah, um, I would say uh, to you, Matt Bacon, 
It's been a joy of living here in Smyrna over 50 some years. And we have met great councilman, mayor. Well, which is the mayor when we moved here. <laughs> and, um, no, his well, his dad is yeah, in here. Yeah. He, uh, but it has been a joy. And yeah. every time we ask for something, the council, we'll come to the council meeting and we'll get it. It may not be the same day, but we always get what we need. And I thank y'all for helping Rose Garden because that's where we live, and in Rose Garden. I know my, my mother and daddy were both very uh, fond of uh, Reverend Hurst, and uh, yes, he's sir. just a good man. Yes, he was. Just a good man. Yes, he was. Yeah, thank y'all so much for thank coming. Thank y'all for thank y'all. Accepting this. Thank y'all. Item B, 2019-428, Campbell High School Educational Foundation Report, Tim Goo. I think we got some educators back there. I could tell a little bit that they were back there. Tim, you want to go ahead? And Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, it's really a nice, nice pleasure for me able to introduce some of the folks from the uh, Campbell High School Education Foundation. And with us tonight, we have a few, uh, a few people who'd like to make a, a presentation to, uh, to the mayor and council, and particularly to the mayor. And uh, with us tonight, we have uh, Susan Carter, Kathy Riggins, uh, Dr. Gene Walker, of course, uh, Glenn Jardine, and Jim, Del Jim Delmer, uh, all members of the foundation. And real quick, on, on the so folks don't know, the goal, a couple of the goals of the foundation really is to uh, raise funds for educational programs, uh, teacher mini grant, teacher mini grants, um, the career placement resource, and building an endowment for uh, for the for the school. And a lot of these folks have been on the foundation for a long time and put uh, put years in and been involved with the high school in different forms. So. With that, I will kick it over to Susan. Thank you, Tim. Mayor Bacon, um, I'm Susan Carter, uh, current president of the Campbell Educational Foundation, and you have been a part of its inception and a former board member, so we have a few tokens of appreciation to thank you for everything you've done, not just for the foundation, but for the Campbell High School community as a whole. Um, as Tim said, we, we provide supplemental funds uh, for education at Campbell High School. We also fund, uh, since 2018, the Susan Pearson uh, Scholarship in honor of Susan Pearson, who was a, a wonderful, active part of our community and a former president of the Campbell High School Education Foundation. So, Max, since you have served as a board member before on our foundation, and you've also been instrumental in supporting our golf tournament every year, which is our major source of income, and also the Jonquil Jog, we wanted to uh, give you a parting gift uh, before you left office, but we thought that one, one, one thing just wasn't enough, so we have two. And uh, Glenn, okay. Jardine. Yeah, Max, we just really appreciate your support. I've run the golf tournament for the last eight years, and I can say two-thirds of the funds we've raised has been because of you and your relationships and your help. So we deeply Call appreciate it. twisting. You're the really good at it. You're really good at it. So we really appreciate that, and we know your office and your house is full of trophies and plaques and things like that. So we searched high and low to find something that would really be special. And we came up with a Max Bacon bobblehead. It's the only <laughs> kind, only one of its kind. And I will tell you, there was a couple of boxes I had to check. And unfortunately, I checked the one when you had to select body type, 25 year old male adult athlete. So. It's a very slim version of Max, but it's in the, the everybody remembers Fonzie, right? The two thumbs up. Hey, every time I came to Max, I need some help. He's like, hey, no problem, no problem. So we have a small token here, Max. Like Donald Trump. It's very, it's very nice. <laughs> hey, that looks just like let's take, let's, let's take that out. Yeah. We got to take it out. Let's, let's, it's got not enough hair but that was from a picture three weeks ago now was it yeah <laughs> and we have one more gift so mayor bacon one more we feel highly appropriate uh presentation oh. is a 3d printed spartan campbell blue spartan head yeah. um in uh, appreciation and recognition of the many projects you've helped raise money to fund one was the first 3d printer ever 
purchased at Campbell High School. So they I'm, made this. I'm going to come down there. We'll get a picture. Because I, I do pictures. <laughs> this does look like. That's what you used to look like. I remember that. <laughs> Played softball together a few years ago. Yeah, that's, he's got to put some just for men's on the hair there. Thanks. You had more of a Thank Fu Manchu a couple you. of weeks ago now. Well, yeah, I did. I'm, I'm trying to. Well, it's not even. I, I, I love this. It's a little bit heavier. Yeah, get out of line. You get a pick for the side out. Get the bobblehead in here, too. I got to hold that. You won't throw that away, will you? No, I like that. <laughs> Don't I'd, drop him now. I know. That would be awesome. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. We appreciate you. You're such a good friend. Uh, yeah. You feel like a brave now, don't you? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Baseball player. That, that does look a little bit like oh, I like it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you, Max. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll just say this, out of the, um, um, be, being mayor and, and uh, one of the, I guess, fortunate things that, that I consider myself uh, one of the luckiest um, people anywhere to grow up here, uh, born and raised here, uh, attended Campbell High School. Uh, to be mayor of my hometown, um, to work for the Postal Service and retire as postmaster, which that was in 2006. Um, it's just been like a, I, I don't know, I couldn't have asked for anything else. Somebody asked me the other day, did I ever think about running for any other office? And I told them no, that I had the best job in the world uh, as far as being an elected official, being the mayor of my hometown. Uh, I've always said this about the schools, and I've been a big supporter of the elementary schools and the middle schools, and particularly Campbell High School, that the schools drive our community, and uh, we have the best schools anywhere. And I tell people all the time that if you, there's good private schools around here, but if you send your child to private school first, I think you're making a mistake to at least give our public schools, because you're going to pay that tax or you're going to pay taxes for them. Uh, give our public schools a chance. And uh, we had the best high school. Dr. Walker's done a great job. Um, I, I'm not fading completely out. I'll still be around. I, they gave me a, a letter jacket that had the Baconator on the back of it. And so I'll, I should have worn that tonight, but I didn't know y'all were going to do this. But thank y'all so much. And uh, I'll continue to support the support those programs and continue to help raise money, not only at the golf tournament, but also the uh, um, the Jonquil City Jog. I may have more influence being out of office than I did while I was in office, but thank y'all so much. It's, uh, it's, it's, this is a treat. Thank y'all. Uh, item four is land issues, zonings, and annexation. We don't have anything. Item five is previous license. We have nothing. Yes, we do. We got A. License 2019-21, uh, public hearing previous license request 2019-21, brewery 6255 Riverview Road, Suite A, Mableton, Georgia 30126, Reformation Brewery, LLC, doing business as Reformation Brewery with Brian Spitzer Nix as the agent. Is he here? Okay. Uh, Miss Tammy Sadler Jones, the background, please. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Brian Spencer Nix will be the registered agent responsible for the manufacturing and tasting of malt beverages at the reference location. Brian Nix has been given a copy of the city's alcohol beverage ordinance, and he attended the mandatory alcohol awareness workshop. Mr. Nix has agreed to abide by the guidelines set forth by the City of Smyrna's ordinance governing the manufacturing and selling of alcohol. A background investigation was conducted by the Smyrna Police Department, and it failed to reveal information that would preclude issuance 
of this license. Therefore, staff recommends approval of a privileged license for the manufacturing and tasting of malt beverages for Reforma Reformation Brewery, LLC, DBA Reformation Brewery, with Brian Spencer Nix as the registered agent. Okay, uh, if the applicant was please step forward. This is a public hearing. Is there anyone here that's in opposition to or that would like to make any public comment concerning the issuance of this previous license request? Let the record show there is none. This is in Ms. Mr. Lewis Wheaton's district. Mr. Wheaton. Yeah, thank you uh, for being here. Uh, definitely Absolutely. good to chat with you and get to meet with you here. Uh, so uh, I heard from uh, the introduction there that you've heard that you have a copy of the ordinances yes, related to alcoholic beverage sales in the city. Uh, so you're, Lewis, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's my bad. I, huh? Scott needs to swear these oh. guys in. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So now you can tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so uh, just to rehash that last point, you, you've gotten the copy of the ordinances, you've read about it, you've read it, you're willing to abide by it and all that good stuff. And you completed the alcoholic beverage sales and service class. Uh, yes, sir. Yep, very good, very good. So you're in an interesting location given uh, that you got a lot of apartments and all that stuff around you, a lot of residential there. Uh, you have methods in place, and what are those methods to restrict alcohol sales to the appropriate uh, demographic? Yes, yes we do. Um, and really we are so excited to be in that community. It's, um, uh, working with uh, Chuck Young and that whole river uh, view landing has been a privilege. Um, really a great asset to this community, um, if, I, if I can do say so myself. And uh, we really started as a community brewery. Um, we got into this. Uh, I'm actually a former minister, and we were gathering people together around us home brewing. And uh, this community started to, to grow, and that's how we got into this. Six years later, it has grown. And uh, this opportunity in this kind of community to be on the river to celebrate, you know, the reasons around why we drink beer, that's why we exist as a brand, and to bring that into this community. And uh, it's, it's something we're excited about and privileged to be a part of. All right. Right. And so you understand that the police from time to time may conduct uh, undercover checks and inquiries Absolutely. at your business uh, to make sure you're in compliance with everything. And Welcome anytime. All right. <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh, does anyone else have any questions? Uh, uh, Tell me again, who, who's the... Who, this is our counsel. How are you doing? Um, hey, you're Mr. paying him by the hour, so you got to get That's him right. to say right. stuff. <laughs> um, Terry Bailey, TFH Legal, and just for the record... Um, I took this job a few months ago, I remember the address, but um, it's 1800 uh, Peachtree Road, Northeast, Suite 1515, Atlanta, Georgia, 30326. Do you know what I like about you? You're the only <laughs> attorney that we have ever sworn in. Um, because Scott said that I don't have to be sworn in. Is that right? <laughs> Scott. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I'm just sort of... <laughs> I'm just intrigued about, you said that you were in the ministry? I was. I was yeah. for 10 years. Um, planted a church in Canton, Georgia, yeah. and uh, went great. And uh, we were looking for ways to be out in the community. And the other guy who founded the brewery with me, Nick, he's a Delta pilot. He was bringing home these beers. We got into it, started home brewing, inviting people out. And Lord, Lord knows a lot of people, we, we had a lot more friends than we realized. <laughs> and uh, a lot of those... Uh, a lot of those uh, friends of ours came came out of their closet and uh, joined I mean, us, and uh, say, the rest get, is history. <laughs> you can get them out of the closet. You're, you're halfway there. So yeah, exactly. You know, it was it was it's been it's been a great journey. I think we're excited about uh, your business and we're what it's going to bring to that part we're of the. We're excited to be city. part of Smyrna. Yep. This is where my mom was born. So in a lot oh, of ways, right? it's full circle. Yep. So your mom's name was. She was a Lewis. Uh, you may have uh, Bob Lewis, and uh, her older sister was uh, Waverly Lewis. Uh, she, um, they would have gone through elementary school here in Smyrna. Yeah. Oh. Good deal. Question: What when do y'all anticipate opening? Yeah, well, after we uh, get through this process, uh, the next is the state licensing. That, they don't tell you how long that'll take, but hopefully a few weeks. So after that's done, uh, the building's looking great. We're really, really close to being complete with the building, just all the licensing at this point. Good deal. Yep. Any other questions? You also, I do have another question. Yes. Do you also have another location in... Yes, in Cherokee it, County. We have yes. a location in downtown Woodstock and the city of Canton. 
Okay. Yep. On the Etowah River in the city of Canton. So I think I saw something last night on TV. A doc. I don't know if it's a documentary. It's about, it about the 420. Yeah. About how much they have expanded. Oh yeah, they're they're nationwide. Yeah. Um, yep. Just to give perspective, we're much much smaller oh, yeah. than yeah. Uh, Sweetwater. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for thank you opening up down there. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be yeah. another great part of the city yep. for us. Really excited. Expand, yeah. Really excited. Y'all are far enough away from City Hall, we probably won't even bother you. <laughs> Good luck, okay. Well, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> And congratulations, Mayor, on Thank your you. service. Any other questions? Yes. Okay. Lewis? All right. So uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve privilege license request 2019-21 brewery uh, at 6255 Riverview Road, Suite A, uh, Mableton, Georgia, 30126, Reformation Brewery, LLC, doing business as Reformation Brewery, uh, with Brian Spencer Nix as agent. Second. Motion is second. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion. It's proof seven to zero. Thank y'all very much. Good Thank luck. Thank y'all. Have a great Thank night. You. Good job, counselor. <laughs> Item six uh, is formal business. A is resolution 2019. Dash zero six adopt resolution abandoning a portion of Sports Avenue consisting of zero point four seven nine acres because it is no longer needed and authorizing the city to convey whatever interest it has in the property to the adjacent property owner, Lenar Homes, in exchange for Lenar Homes conveying a strip of property to the city that has an equal or greater value. Is the applicant here, Mr. Mr. Sam? Uh, the background, Ms. Jones. The language in this resolution concludes that the section of Sports Avenue, consisting of 0 0.479 acres, has ceased to be used by the public, that no substantial public purpose is served by it, and that its removal from the municipal street system is in the best interest of the public. The approved site plan reflected the abandonment of the Sports Avenue right-of-way in exchange for new right-of-way along the northern property boundary, which is in line with the roadway improvements recommended in the Spring Road Livable Cities Initiative Study. Staff recommends abandoning the property and authorize the mayor to convey it to Lanier, Georgia, Incorporated, or its affiliate in exchange for Lanier, Georgia, Incorporated, uh, or its affiliate conveying the property depicted in Exhibit B and described in Exhibit B1 to the City of Smyrna. Therefore, staff recommends approval of the abandonment of the portion of right-of-way consisting of 0 0.479 acres at the end of Sports Avenue that is no longer needed and convey whatever interest to the city the city has in the property to the adjacent property owner, Lenar, Lenar Homes. I think I mis, misspoke and said Lanier, Lenar Homes, pardon me. All right, uh, Mr. Sams, you step forward. This is in Mr. Norton's um, district, Mr. Norton. Turn it over, Ms. Sams, yes. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Uh, members of the council, uh, for the record, my name is Garvis Sams, the law firm of Sams, Larkin, and Huff. And I do represent Lenar, and you, you got that right, Ms. Adler Jones. Uh, and, and in connection with a rezoning of a 12.4 acre tract last summer, uh, you uh, agreed or approved a, a downzoning of this property from GC to RM12 for the purposes of 108 townhomes. As a part of that, um, there were stipulations and conditions governing the zoning, but but the, the land exchange, uh, that is our dedication to the city and the city's abandonment of certain right-of-way, is a separate and distinct process, even though we, we spoke about it during the pendency of that zoning. Uh, there are statutory requirements regarding abandonment and dedication, and, and so we've complied with those, and the city attorney has been kind enough, along with your community development director, to make this an agenda item tonight. Um, I can talk all night long, you know me, but I'll be as brief as previous council and just say we ask that you follow your staff's recommendation. But my engineer, uh, Mr. Richard Sanger, and I are here and can uh, speak to any issues you like, Mr. Mayor. 
Any questions of Mr. Sams? Rusty, anything you want to add? Thank you, Mr. Sams. Thank, Thank you, you for being so thorough and brief. For a change. If there's no other questions, I'll make a motion to approve uh, item 6A, resolution 2019-06, uh, adopting a resolution abandoning a portion of Sports Avenue consisting of 0.479 acres because it's no longer needed and authorizing the city to convey whatever interest it has in the property to the adjacent property owner, Lennar Holmes. Uh, and yep. and motion is second to approve this abandonment uh, and convey the property to the city of Smyrna of Equal or Greater Bay. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion. It's approved 7 0. Good job, Mr. Sams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On, on a personal note, I, I want to say it's been a pleasure over the past four decades um, serving this community and and appearing before you, Mr. Mayor, and, and the, this council is presently constituted. I know some of you will be rotating on or off, and congratulations, Mr. Wheaton, to you being on board. But um, it's been a pleasure uh, at all times working with you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Jarvis. Thank you so much. I know our, our, fa our parents, our fathers were good friends. So. Yeah, we were. Your, your dad was, I think, still mayor when I came in. Yep. You and I were honorary yep. commanders uh, together, and that's a story for another time. <laughs> I say I got a picture of you in a tank. Yeah, I'm afraid you did. <laughs> <laughs> we went on honorary's commander's uh, trip, and Garvis and I, we were in his tank together at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I think maybe somewhere. But he had on a little hat, and he really looked cute. I'm going to try to find that picture. <laughs> Found it once and put it up. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you, Garvis. All right, I'm going to go stand by. Item seven is commercial building permits. We have none. Item eight is consent agenda. Uh, Ms. Jones, will you please read the consent agenda for council's approval? The consent agenda reads as follows. Item A, approval of November 18th, 2019, mayor and council meeting minutes. Item B, approval of the November 18th, 2019, pre-council meeting minutes. Item C, approval of the November 14th, 2019, Committee of the Whole meeting minutes. Item D, approval to renew management services agreement for Smyrna Food Truck Tuesday with JRM Management Services Incorporated for a $0 impact and have the mayor sign and execute all related documents. Item E, approval of the Secrets of Smyrna, an entertaining historical street theater tour of Smyrna's most interesting places and the stories of some of Smyrna's citizens of yesteryear. Hosted by the Smyrna Arts Council and scripted and performed by Atlanta Theater To Go, a professional theater company and nonprofit 501c3 organization. The Secrets of Smyrna is proposed to take place on Saturday, November 17th and Sunday, November 18th, 2020, from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., consisting of four 45-minute walking tours of various downtown locations and one street closure, one street closure, pardon me, memorial place between Church Street and Atlanta Road adjacent to the Smyrna Cemetery. You hear a motion to approve the consent agenda. A motion to second. All those in favor of the motion. Let's approve 7 0. Item 9's committee reports will start tonight with uh, Mr. Derek Norton. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to uh, say I know that this is our assistant city administrator. Scott Andrews' last uh, meeting, and just want to say it's been a pleasure working with you, and best of luck on your future endeavors. Uh, and just want to remind everybody there is an election tomorrow, and I hope that everybody will exercise their right to vote. With that, I yield. Ms. Andrea Bluestein. Uh, I wanted to tell Scott Andrews that we're going to miss you. I don't know why, but we will miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that the pe people in Covington know what they're getting, but... We hope you, we wish you the very best, and thank you for the time that you've spent with us. 
And for, uh, since we've just started our holiday season, I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. And I'm sure that with Christmas and New Year's and all, we'll have some more happy occasions with our friends and families. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Marilyn Blackburn. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, no committee report. Just want to say, Scott Andrews, thank you for your service. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you, and I'm sure that uh, you're going to have a great time on your new journey. So we wish you all the best. And with that, I yield. Mr. Corky Welch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I want to mirror what everybody said about Scott with a, with a little more. I, I, I want to say something about him. Scott has never been afraid to take on a, a hard task and, and deal with it. Um, oftentimes I've asked him, Scott, I'm, I'm, I'll be more than willing to be the to be the bad guy in this thing. And, and Scott's always told me, no, I've got it taken care of. So uh, with that, I, I wish you well. Scott will um, he'll certainly be missed, and he'll do a great job wherever he goes. Other than that, I'd want to remind everybody to come out tomorrow night for uh, Smyrna coming home for Christmas. Um, come out for the tree lighting. With that, I yield. Miss Susan Wilkinson. I just want to make sure my microphone is on, and I believe it is. So um, I, I want to um, also say, Scott, it's been a pleasure working with you, and um, good luck on your new um, career or your new job. Uh, and also, I would like to make an announcement uh, about for Mary Moore from the library. The Friends of the Smyrna Library and the Dixie Lego Users Group will hold their third annual Books and Bricks Lego Exhibit and Fundraiser. The elaborate exhibit of Lego constructions includes landscapes, cityscapes, and moving parts like trains and ski lifts. The exhibit will be in the Smyrna Library Meeting Room on Saturday, December the 7th and Sunday, December the 8th. Tickets will be sold at the door for $3 per person, and the proceeds will benefit the Youth Services Department of the Smyrna Library. And with that, I yield. Ms. Tim Goo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, first, on the uh, educational side, um, Campbell IB just released some uh, graduate uh, acceptance numbers, and there's about 120 kids in the senior uh, uh, IB class, and out of that, 75 students were accepted to the University of Georgia. So if anybody kind of pays attention to those things, that's really a remarkable number for probably for the whole school, but much less out of a group of about 120 kids. It's really credit to Dr. Walker and Dan Panic and the folks over the teachers and, and all that over at Campbell. So as the mayor said, we really do have great schools here and that's one, one piece of evidence of it. So uh, secondly, just to reiterate, uh, please get out and vote. Tomorrow's such a big day for the city. And then uh, after you vote, come out to the tree lighting and uh, celebrate that. It's, it's a great, a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, congratulations, Scott. Best of luck to you. It's uh, your pleasure. Pleasure to work with, and I'm sure you'll do, uh, make, do great things in, in Covington. And then come back. Mr. Lewis Wheaton. Yeah, a couple things. Uh, also reiterating my congratulations to Scott. Uh, outstanding. Um, haven't got to work with you too long, but you've always been a smiling face and always helpful and, and willing to answer a question, even a dumb one from me. So uh, thank you so much for that. Um, a couple people have mentioned the tree lighting. Want to echo uh, definitely after you vote tomorrow. Come on out and check out the tree lighting tomorrow. And also on your calendars, make sure you're aware on December 23rd at 6, we have the second, I believe, menorah lighting. Um, for the city. So make sure you put that on your calendar as well uh, to come out uh, for that. And lastly, uh, for those, I um, want to encourage all the residents to participate in the Smyrna Connects Transit Study uh, Survey. Um, definitely take a look at that survey at smyrnaconnects.com, I believe. Uh, you have until December 15th to complete that survey. So get your opinion heard. Thank you. With that, I yield. I just want to say congratulations to Scott. It's been a pleasure working with you the last two years. Scott um, was appointed the city manager for the city of Covington, Georgia. So I wish him well. And of course, if you ever have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. Yeah, he shouldn't have said that. He'll be calling about everything. What do I do now? <laughs> Scott Andrews. Mike, there we go. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything because it's uh, already a, 
um, a time of transition, but I, I really want to thank each of you council members for trusting me and for allowing me to make mistakes and grow. Uh, Tammy, you've given me a, a total opportunity and platform to uh, treat me like a peer, and uh, I hope I have done more good than bad for you. And uh, just uh, really compliment the team. Uh, there's not many of them in the audience here, but the, the team here is just outstanding. And um, I've truly enjoyed my time in Smyrna. Thank you, everyone. Scott Cochran, our city attorney. Hello. All right. Yeah, I'll echo what everybody said about Scott. Wish you uh, luck in Covington. I know you'll do well. Um, and, um, you know, just take what you learned here and add to it. And like Tim said, come back soon. Um, Ms. Terry Graham. Yes, sir. I'd like to congratulate Scott also and let you know that we're going to miss you and, um, and wish you well in Covington. We also have an election. We have a runoff election for the seat of the mayor and also Ward 2. Ward 1 will vote in at Argyle Elementary School. Ward 2 will vote at Fire Station number 3. Ward 3 will vote at the Smyrna Community Center. Ward 4, four will vote at King Springs Elementary School, now that is the K-1 campus on Brown Road. Smyrna Ward 5 will vote at Belmont Hills Elementary. Ward 6 will vote at Campbell Middle School. And Smyrna Ward 7 will vote at Life Church Smyrna Assembly of God. All those uh, campuses will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. At the Smyrna Community Center, we will be hosting the Coming Home for the Holidays, but we will have 47 parking spaces reserved from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. For, for voter parking. So please look for the officers to uh, guide you into that area so that you can find parking and get into that, into the community center and vote. But please do come out and vote and exercise your vote, your right to vote. That I um, thank you, Miss Tina. You got anything? Um, before we get to uh, folks that have signed up for citizen input, I just want to, Scott Andrews, thank you so much for giving Smyrna. How, how long has he been here? Change, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I appreciate all that you've done. I appreciate the image that you. Um, uh, put out there for the city of Smyrna. We're going to miss you and wish you the best in Covington. Is that where it's at? Um, you, you'll do fine there. I told him earlier he'd be he w he'd be gone. He'd be back in about two weeks. But uh, um, you know, sometimes you just got to let folks go. But thank you so much for all that you've done. You're a good man. Okay, uh, we do not have a show cause hearing. Citizens input. We've got three people that have signed up for that. Uh, Andrea Bluestein, 2407 Country Park, Smyrna, Georgia, Election Day, 12-3. Good evening. Um, I'm Andrea Bluestein, and I am the Ward 2 Council person and I'm running for the second time in two and a half months for the same office. Um, I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow is December 3rd, and that is our second election day in um, the short period of time. We're voting for Ward 2 Council, which, is the, which in the earlier voting in November was a tie, which is evidently extremely unusual. Um, please vote so that I don't have to go through this a third time. I'm anxious to get the results. Uh, thank you for letting me be your Ward 2 representative, and I hope to continue. Thank you very much. Uh, Ryan Campbell, 2004 White Cypress Court, Smyrna, Georgia, 3008 to Election Day. Good evening to everybody. Um, tomorrow's a big day for the city of Smyrna, uh, and I just wanted to say thank you uh, 
to the residents, to the council, to Mayor Max Bacon uh, for making this such a wonderful journey, uh, not just during the election process, but over the past four years. Um, and we're going into a state of transition that's really, really important. And we've tried to run a positive campaign that reflects the journey of the city, but hones in on where it's going and the journey that we have left. And I think it's really, really critical that voters really show up and vote for whoever they think is the best candidate. Um, I, uh, my age has been brought up a lot in this campaign. I tend to be the youngest at whatever I do. Um, and I, I take pride in that. And uh, it's been an amazing journey because of that. And with that said, I really appreciate the time and the energy that everybody has put in on both sides to make sure that our city continues to head in the right direction. And I would ask all voters to get out and vote tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Uh, M. Blackburn, Huntington Price Drive, Smyrna, election. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor, Council. Well, we've been talking about election, and tomorrow is a very important day. But before we head to tomorrow, I want to take this time and say thank you to Max, A. Max Bacon, for the, the 34 years plus that you've given to the city, and uh, that I'm sure has been an incredible journey, and uh, we appreciate that. But I also want to say that tomorrow is another important day because it actually begins to mark how we shape Smyrna's future. We have to look at the 21st century vision here now. Smyrna is at a crossroads, and this is an election about building, not building upon the past, but rather an election about our future, a future that will propel us to thrive in a dynamic 21st century economy, where inclusive government works for all Smyrna residents, where education, meets the needs of our community, where envi environmental stewardship has a plan to protect our air, water, and soil and the individuals living in the city, where diversity is not a word to be taken lightly or need help in understanding, but utilized to carefully maneuver our city forward. Whomever our next mayor is, they must be careful and thoughtful in the process when positioning our city for economic growth that will be in the best interest of the city, not self. Lisa Haysha made a statement that said, great leaders don't set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. It is never about the role, always about the goal. And that's the kind of leader that Smyrna needs. So I ask all of the constituents of Smyrna to please exercise your right to vote tomorrow on December the 3rd and choose someone who is going to lead us into the 21st century. Thank you. That concludes the folks that have signed up for citizens input. Um, I would just encourage everybody to go vote tomorrow. Um, it's one of the greatest privileges that we have. Um, please, even if it's a little chilly, please get out there and vote. And with that, uh, I'm going to declare this meeting adjourned at 747. All right, let's see. Oh, you can get that. You can get these.